In this video we are going to have the Samsung UN32 and 5300FXZ a review, we will have a detailed look on the various features this product possesses. This video will help you decide whether this television is perfect for your needs. We provided a link on the description to give you the best prices on the market right now. The Samsung N5300 is a basic 1080p IPS LED TV with decent picture quality. It does not have a high native contrast ratio and thus dark room performance is not good. The TV supports HDR, but it cannot get bright enough to deliver the creator's intent, and thus, you will not benefit much from using it in that mode. In SDR it can get bright enough for an average lit room and the color gamut is adequate. The image remains accurate at large angles off-center, and this is great if you watch TV while you move around the room. The input lag is decent but not good enough for most serious gamers. The design of the N5300 is decent. The TV is made out of a combination of plastic and metal. The build quality is decent with no obvious issues. This year's model has no power brick, but the overall design resembles last year's N5300 a lot. The stand is plastic and supports the TV well, whereas the back is metallic. The TV looks slightly thick from the side and will stick out a little if wall mounted. The stand is plastic and almost as wide as the TV. It supports the TV well and there is almost no wobble if the TV is gently knocked. Footprint of the 32 inches TV stand, 26.8 inches by 6.4 inches. The back of the TV is plain and made out of metal. The electronics compartment is located at the center of the back. If the TV is visa mounted, some inputs might be hard to reach. There is no cable management on this TV. The borders are plastic and have average thickness. The TV looks thick when you look at it from the side. If you decide to wall mount it, it will protrude a little. The build quality is decent. The TV is made of metal and plastic and there are no gaps or loose ends. It is very basic, but you should have no issues with the build quality. Disappointing native contrast ratio for the N5300. Blacks in a dark room look more like gray and this diminishes the picture quality. Although low contrast ratios are expected in IPS TVs, this result is a little worse than last year's model M5300. The N5300 has decent brightness, better than last year's M5300. It can get bright enough for an average lit room, but it cannot fight the glare of a bright room. When the TV displays very dark scenes, like our 2% window, the CE dimming dims the entire screen in an effort to display better blacks and this results in crushed highlights. In less dark scenes, like most normal content, the brightness levels remain relatively constant. Although HDR is supported, the TV cannot get bright enough to display HDR content well. Just like in SDR, the brightness level is relatively constant in all window sizes, except in very dark scenes where the screen dims. The out-of-the-box color accuracy is mediocre. The most accurate picture mode was movie. The white balance da and the color da are above our threshold of 3, and thus we expect that most people will notice the inaccuracies. The color temperature is a little warm, and although the average gamma is close to the 2.2 target, it does not follow the target curve, so some scenes are too dim while others are brighter. The color volume coverage is limited by the low contrast ratio and the limited color gamut. Unfortunately, this TV cannot display rich and saturated colors. Inputs HDMI 2 USB 1 Digital Optical Audio Out 1 Analog Audio Out 3.5mm 0 Analog Audio Out RCA 0 Component in 1 Shared Composite in 1 Shared Tuner, Cable Slash Ant 1 Ethernet 1 Unlike last year's model M5300, this N5300 does not support DTS pass-through. The TV is capable of playing a UHD HDR movie in 1080p at 24 HDR. The interface is easy to use and intuitive for most new users. Unfortunately, it is not very smooth as the animations can get stuttery. It has a large selection of apps to choose from and it is not as fast as the interface the higher-end models have. The Samsung's App Store has an abundance of apps to cover any need. The most common apps like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Video etc. are pre-installed but you can download many more. It is worth noting that HDR in Amazon Video was not available in this model, as it was in other 2018 models. The N5300 has a basic remote control without voice support, but with sex support that allows you to have basic control of other Samsung devices. The Samsung UN32 N5300 is a budget TV that is designed for use in smaller rooms. Where to buy? You can get the Samsung UN32 N5300 FXZA through the link below in the description. 
We have checked to ensure those are the best price in the market right now. Thanks for watching.